Justin, uh, a lot to unpack here, obviously. Uh, you guys did a lot of good things, but 14-point lead in the fourth quarter. What's your assessment of uh, how it came apart? Um, <clears throat> we need to make another stop on D, and then we, we got to hold on to the football. Yeah. Yep. How's your locker room, and what's the mood? Disappointed. Of yep, disappointed. I had a lot of opportunities to win. Um, very competitive game. The guys competed hard. Um, you know, ultimately, we offensively, when we didn't turn the ball over and or get a 15-yard penalty, we moved it and scored it most of the time. Uh, defensively, when we had them backed up, I think they had 18 drives total, which is a lot of drives. And uh, it's a very talented group. And when we had them backed up, uh, we played them pretty good when they started kind of on a normal drive start territory, unfortunately. There was uh, four that started in our territory, and those are four touchdowns. So field position, starting field position, the number of drives made it more difficult for us. Uh, late in the game, we had some opportunities to make a play here or there uh, to change the outcome, and we, we just couldn't quite come up with it. And they're a very, it's a very talented team we just competed with and had a, a number of chances to win, and we didn't do it. So. Locker rooms disappointed. Okay, other questions in the room? Let us know, Doug. Coach uh, Doug Paris uh, here. Um, for, for Fernando, um, I think that he played a really good game in terms of um, you know the yards. He had 292 yards, uh, and two touchdowns. But he was really connecting with his wide receivers, and they had a really good flow going out there. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, there was, again, there's a lot of good, um, you know, the RPO game was hitting. I mean, we ran the ball pretty efficiently. We threw it pretty efficiently. It's the turnovers. I mean, that's the story. Turnovers, and we had a, uh, two drives stalled out due to 15-yard penalties. So we got to do better there. We got to hold on to the football. Um, playing a team like that, you, you, can't, you can't give them that many opportunities. You know, again, 18 drives. For, the, for that offense. Um, and then defensively, we have to find another. We got one takeaway, but you know, the difference in the turnovers were obviously uh, huge in the game. OK, other first round questions. Anybody else have a first round question that hasn't asked one? OK, we'll go ahead and second round. Go ahead, Jeff. You took uh, Jaden out, I think, second play of the fourth quarter. Is he injured again? Jaden was not a, a allowed to go back in or wasn't able to go back in, I should say. So I haven't talked to the, uh, that, that was during the game. He was not able to continue. And so we'll get more information uh, after this on what that means moving forward. So You did get, I believe the first time you've seen Justin Williams Thomas play. What did you think of what he was able to contribute? Oh, well, we had a couple of good runs in there. You know, we'll see. I, I, there was a lot of the, the front our offensive line and tight ends, and they were doing a pretty good job on all the, the run stuff. Um, you know, again, we were moving the ball. Really, the only time that start of the third quarter was really uh, not good there for three drives in a row um, where we went backwards. But uh, I think Justin did a good job. You know, Javen, we were banged up, and so we had to call on some guys running back and linebacker and D line kind of everywhere. So. What did you think of uh, Fernando's game? I think he's just going to keep getting better. He's very, very competitive. He sees the game well. I mean, he can communicate on the sideline what he's seeing. Um, traditionally, he just hasn't made the same mistake twice. You know, he made a poor decision on the, the throw coming out, um, which was he'll have to learn from. Uh, you know, early in the game, putting the ball on the ground. I would hope he'll learn from that one because um, those are. Those are mistakes that we can't have. But I think Fernando's going to continue to improve because uh, you know, he can digest what he's seeing. He can learn. And I think he's, he threw some really good balls today. And he stands in there with no fear. I mean, he's not worried about getting hit. And we had a couple other opportunities um, in the past game to make some big, big plays. And we, we made some good ones. We, we just needed to make a couple more. I think everybody in the stadium was 
expecting you to go for two, wanted you to go for two. Was there any hesitation on your mind? No. Okay, we'll go to Doug Parrish. Yeah, just a quick question on, um, I, I've been watching football for a while and, and I haven't seen a, um, like, you know, coming back out on halftime and have one second on the clock. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. It had uh, zero impact on the outcome of the game. I want to make that clear. I have never seen it before. I don't know that it's ever happened before. And I also want to be clear, it had nothing to do with the officials who were on the field. The officials who are on the field, that's a, they do a good job. That's a good crew. I think you know, none, none of the crews are perfect, just like we aren't. I think they're good officials. And so that is not on them. Here's what I was told. Uh, there's a review booth. The Pac-12 has a review that's here. Um, and after the play was over, the review booth told the officials, half's over. So they sent, uh, they t we were told to go in. So the officials on the field relayed the message to us, half's over, go in the locker room. Something happened. I don't know what. I can't answer that. And I was told to come back out and confer the, with the officials and they were gonna have a one play with one second to start the, it's not the second half, it was the end of the first half after the band played. Um, but that came from Pac-12 review. So the only people that can answer that is the Pac-12 office and the head of officials and the Pac-12 uh, game review board and the, the uh, review officials, but not the officials on the field. They had nothing to do with that. They were relaying the information from the booth. So I'm sure I'll get some email or call, but I don't really care. That's what happened and people deserve to know. It did not have any bearing on the outcome of the game, but that's what happened. Okay, go to Thomas Chen. Coach, you talk about obviously playing to win the game with that two-point call. How much in addition, and relying on your defense, if you will, to get a stop, how much, if at all, did, was there an additional factor of the laundry list of injuries that you had experienced over the course of the game? Yes, th that absolutely plays into it. You got to know who's available, who you're playing with on offense, who you're playing with on defense. You got the balls on the three-yard line. It's under a minute to go. They've already had 18 drives. I mean, there's just a lot to consider there, but I didn't. I considered all that and took all that in, but it took, you know, a matter of seconds during, I mean, this is at the beginning of the drive. Like we're going to go down the clock. Based on where the clock was, there's going to be some decision to make how much time is left. But uh, it became pretty clear to me. And then obviously trying to contain Caleb Williams is a, just a laundry list of tasks you have to do to achieve that. How do you feel like uh, your guys' containment coverage went? In? Uh, not, not good enough. He's, you know, we pressured him some, we covered him some. You know, we, we went into the game watching everybody that's played him for a number of years. You also have to think about your matchups because sometimes, yeah, you want to, hey, we need to run more zero. Uh, and some of the man matchups gave us some issues, to be honest. So we really tried to mix it up. And um, I think the, our team competed really hard. They have some very, very talented players. We did not play perfect. We need to play better. We need to get one more stop somewhere. Either in our territory, we needed to find another turnover, a tip ball, a couple opportunity. We had the ball out, I think, early in the game on a screen, like, you know, find a way to come up with that one. Maybe the tip ball interception, something. And we, we just were, we just came up short, uh, kind of across the board, unfortunately.